one, then another one, then a two, then a three. This is a rap about the Fibonacci. Five to the eight, then to the thirteen. Most phenomenal sequence you have ever seen. Twenty-one, thirty-four, and fifty-five. The pattern can be found in every beehive. Each number is the sum of the previous two. Phantom seashells, flower petals, and R2. It's also in the structure of our DNA. It's a pattern that we see everywhere, every day. Introduced by Leonardo of Pisa and reflected through the Pyramid of Giza. The theory came from Robert, but reproduced. Production, even structured in the way our human bodies function, the nature's universal rule. Wait, what? Why didn't anyone tell us at school? Fibonacci's in our plants and architecture. A special sequence that's reflected in our nature. The golden ratio links everything together. The golden ratio links everything together. The Fibonacci and the golden mean sequence help us um, identify the beauty in this world, okay? So the Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers, which are these ones here. There's way more, and then we'll get to those later on, okay? So the way the um, Fibonacci sequence works is that the first two numbers are what makes the next number. So 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 plus 3, 5. And then this can carry on for ages and ages and ages. Now, what's interesting about the uh, Fibonacci sequence is that we can then plot these numbers into the widths of a square. If we have a, if we had a ruler, which I don't have, so we're not going to be doing that. We've got a square with one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. A square only has widths because they're all the same um, size. So we've got our first square. We've got another width of the square with 1 and 1. Now that we've done that, we need to get to the second number, because 1 plus 1, 2. And we can put that into the width of, see, that's sort of about 2 there. And then we put that there. Now that we've done that, the next one is what? 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 sort of looks like this long, and about that wide. It's 2 plus 3. So, this would look like a bit like this. That's very um, estimated because we don't have a ruler. So, now with these plotted squares that we got from the Fibonacci sequence, you can see that if we draw an archway, which we won't be able to do without a protractor, but we will, from here to here, we can see that there'll be start of a spiral. And then if we've got a bigger number, 3 plus 5 is 8, we can get the bigger one to go around to here. So we see this spiral, and this is the spiral that we find everywhere in the universe. Um, first of all, we've got the picture of the universe right here. <laughs> we've got a sunflower. <laughs> a beehive. <laughs> we've got a cyclone. All these patterns seem to follow this sequence here. The next, um, the next thing is now that we've looked at the Fibonacci sequence. From the Fibonacci sequence, we can get the golden mean. The golden mean is a ratio. It is the ratio of 1.168. Um, and in Greek, it's also called phi. And it's got this weird symbol here. That's not the right symbol, but can you put a symbol there? <laughs> so the way we get this um, phi number is if we uh, take two consecutive um, numbers and find the ratios of each of them. Obviously, since it's such a small number, we won't be able to find this exact number here. But as the numbers get bigger, so if we go to the thousands Fibonacci area sequence, sequence numbers, we will be able to find this uh, ratio when we follow the sequence, the two sequence of numbers. Okay, uh, another way to find phi is you can use this um, formula. A over B is equal to A plus B over A. Now, A and B are lengths. So A is the shorter length and B is the longer length. The length that I'm talking about is this length right here. Now, the ratio, um, 1.68, um, sort of falls somewhere here. So this is the shorter length, and this is the longer length. And if we find the centimeters of each of these lengths, 
and put this in, into the equation, we will be able to find the um, golden ratio. Fibonacci's in our plants and architecture. A special secret that's reflected in our nature. Okay, ready? Both of us. <laughs> <laughs>